Also, we were watching that one shot of the final dragon in Fire Emblem 7. And that brought back so many memories of how bad the random number generator could be in the game. Like, especially in the one for the Wii, Radiant Dawn. Mm -hmm. That random number generator is so unforgiving. Wow. Okay, no, wait, how many times while I was um, playing that game did you hear me say, God damn it! <laughs> a lot. Um. It's because you have hit percentages in Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you were noticing that on like the bottom corner to like hits, what like it had a hundred for some people. Well, in Fire Emblem for the wait, Radiant Dawn, there were a lot of times where I had like an eighty some hit percentage. Come on. And it consistently Come here, missed. Kitty, 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 oh, kitty, okay. kitty. And then the computer yeah, units would have like damn it. 50 or lower percent chance. And they would be the ones that... They would constantly get their hits they on. Hit. Oh, oh. Yeah. Flying kitty! And I think some of the worst <laughs> oh, ones gosh. are when you have like a 1% chance of it's critical parasite. hit. It's With like What's a 40% chance of hitting. Which means like the way the random number generator works in Fire Emblem, it calculates your hit first. It's mm -hmm. dead shot. So what if the random number generator is comes out equal to or What's she doing? You broke what? Catwoman! You broke like you can break cats. You broke Catwoman. Do you put something on your head? Beep beep beep. Man, it's so surprising they got launched out of that. It's like Suicide Squad. The safest, uh, the safest spot to be in, a, in Suicide Squad was in a helicopter. Go play with the gorilla. Think about it. It's so dumb. What is she doing? You broke her. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight, Selena. Well, like but said, call me in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> well, like I said, in Fire Emblem, it calculates your hit percentage. Uh -huh. And then it calculates your critical percentage. Speedy? <laughs> I'm not speedy. I'm slowy. <laughs> so speed is a new Nightwing. I'm not Dick Grayson. <laughs> this is Damien. Damien? Damien Wayne. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Remember, Damien killed Dick Grayson. That's right. Dick Grayson died. He was he, my he, son. He fell and hit his head. He was a better son than me. <laughs> No, I'm serious, like, Dick Grayson died from falling on a rock. He did? Yeah. But wasn't it, like, a really big fall, or...? Uh, no. What happened is that earlier in that issue, uh -huh. it was showing Dick and Damien train, uh -huh. and Damien threw, hit, threw one of Nightwing's sticks at him, and Nightwing caught it. And he's saying... And they were, like, just talking about how Damien was, like, Bruce's real son, and... All that. Mm-hmm. Needless to say that... That... Ow! I'm too far, I'm too far! Ah! Go on. So, they got in an argument, then later in the issues, like, there was a... Breakout at Arkham, and, like, everybody goes to stop it. And, like, there's a... I forgot who it was that Damien was, like... Attacking relentlessly. And then Dick's all, Damien, stop! That's not what Robin would do! And then Damien's all, You're not Robin anymore! And then, and then he just picks <laughs> up Nightwing's sticks, he throws it right at Nightwing, and he's not paying attention. So it hits him right in the side of the head. So Nightwing's all dazed and confused, he loses his footing, yeah. trips, and as he falls, his neck like hits some debris, uh -huh. and it just snaps his neck like that. Wow. I felt like it was a really, unepic, like a really unepic death for like a Batman sidekick to go. Like, you, it's a Batman sidekick. But the idea behind it is like, Damien was like, oh my god, Dick, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he's like trying to wake him up. Meanwhile, oh. everybody stopped fighting to see it. And then Batman like sees Batman it and he's like all... A complete shock. He's just like <laughs> destroyed at that point. And then Damien's all like... I. I didn't mean to get away from him! And he just throws <gasps> Damien oh off of him. Oh my That's so terrible. And like, Damien goes to Superman and he's like, I, 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 I honestly did. 
And he's all, it's okay, son. It's okay. And like, the fighting stops as Batman's just carrying Dick Bruce Grayson. Bruce Wayne is saving Bruce Wayne! Out of the prison. And then like, Bruce is having an inner monologue about being alone again. That's so weird. And at and the end of the comic ends with like, a teary-eyed <coughs> Bruce saying, Aww. My son is dead. <gasps> oh, wow. Well, he was always considered... What's the name? All his Batman... They are they are his children. Like, they're adoptive. Oh. Yeah. Like, I would say, depending on the story, even Barbara Gordon to an extent... No, Barbara but, is, like, just a friend of the family. But... The Bat family. I know Jason Todd, Dick Grayson... Tim... Tim Drake. Drake. Damn it! He considers all his children. Right? Yep. And then Damien is obviously his only... Biological child. Because him and Talia got it on one night. <coughs> but then again, Batman gets it on with a lot of women. Yeah. The Selena Kyle is like one of the most frequent ones. Selena Kyle, Huntress, um... Who else? Um... Well, depending on what's... What's called series or canon? We're talking about Barbara Gordon. Stop shooting me with arrows! You don't see me throwing oh, that, arrows. That's only Batman it? Beyond, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's only in the animated Batman Beyond. Oh. Canon. No, it's also in that stupid the killing joke. joke. Well, just the what's it called? The movie. You don't yeah, see me that, throwing that's arrows. That's it's just that stupid part. Oh, uh, he got joke. me. And you were at the edge, and there was like no way to over or fly over no. it. Oh, they... Damn it, he's blocking that. Oh, he, oh, he took it! I thought missing that, like, cheap shot meant I was gonna miss the whole thing. I guess the computer doesn't have complete perfect input. I mean, unless you're, like, playing Soul Calibur, like, on some of the hard challenges. My god, I fucking hate Soul Calibur at times. Oh wait, I can't use that. I know he has meter burn. Yay! Did we ever tell the story of Night Terror? I don't think so. My well, friend Steve was... No, this goes back like when we had just unlocked this challenge in Soul Calibur 3. Uh -huh. Where you can fight Night Terror instantly. Without having to go through yeah. the whole story and all that to fight him. Uh -huh. Ooh, maybe. Okay. Well, what happened was... Apparently, Night Terror didn't wait for them to say fight. No, this goes back to, like, Night Terror kicking all our asses. Like, me, you, then Charlie. And, like, we were just rotating between the three of us. Mm -hmm. And Steve was, like, laughing at us. I'm like, you get in on this. I'm like, fine, I'll show you how it's done or something like Steve that. Steve takes the control and he's all, okay, watch. This is how it's done. Uh -oh. And as he sits down, it's all, fight. Right before it says fight, Night Terror takes to the sky. <laughs> and the moment it says fight, he uses his heat beam eyes. And it kills him and in it one kills shot. Steve in one hit. Oh my god! Metallo! I, I swear, like, Night Terror pulled, like, major hacks in that fight because he started moving well before it said fight. fight. Wow, that sucks. Owie. I know, it, what's it called? Soul Calibur 3 is, like, super unbalanced in all honesty. Like, Owie. people refuse to play it at fighting tournaments just because it's that unbalanced. Wow. And my main character was one of the top tier characters. Ah, my bats are gone. And Owie. I remember what happened was it got to the point where I could make Night Terror my bitch. Wow. And all it was was just counters. You remember that, Lloyd? Ah. Yep, I remember. I'm but like against remember Night that Terror, just badass. counter and counter and counter and counter everything Damn. he did. And it was like. Night Terror didn't... I can beat Night Terror with taking no damage. That's how good I got at timing the counter. And I remember Lloyd Charlie hated me for that. They hated the counter. I was just watching like slowly walk, like punch him, punch him, punch Green Lantern. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, that's sort of like... Well, Yellow Lantern. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize they changed his name as well. Yeah, wow. they changed his name to Yellow Lantern at the top. You know... It's technically not Yellow Lantern, it's Sinestro Core. 
No one cares about technicalities. Nope. Look at Parasite <laughs> over there. He's like... He's just standing there. Ah! It shocks. It just Maybe it's done. Ah! <laughs> it shocks. <laughs> you like that, don't you, bitch? Wow. Oh! <laughs> I think we like What's it? with the old-style baseball mitt? That's like a... One of the original baseball school. mitts. Remember, Hal Jordan's like really old school. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like, like a pilot. He wears a... Flight jacket. Uh, he's, sure he, he wears aviators. aviators. Yeah. He has a curly Q. That's true. Wait, how strong physically is Aquaman? He's not a. I know he doesn't. He doesn't come up to par with. He's nowhere near Superman strength. But he he is a His really strong. strong one. Aquaman is fairly strong. I know he's beyond. He's. A, He's not full meta human, is he? No. Well, technically, he's a meta human. My what? arms! My arms! Let go! I give up! He's like, it's Batman! With Batman! And some dead guy! <laughs> and do you see how out of it Bruce Wayne looks? Yeah, he looks uh -huh. a Uh oh. Technically, he's not fooling you. He's still Bruce Wayne. Just another Bruce Wayne. So many lives lost because I held back when I should have used all my power. You have no power here, Superman. <laughs> I have all the power in the world, Batman. You weren't the gun. Now. Ah! Magic. <laughs> Wait, are they going to that watchtower? They went to their original watchtower. No, they're not even going to the watchtower. Oh, it's just a diversion. It's a trap. Oh, that's another meme I saved to my phone. It's a trap. trap. Yes. Like, oh I, yeah, uh, when you said that. Because it's like I have two, like three pictures saved to my phone because I want to use them whenever they come up. One of them's a damson picture mm -hmm. of the little kid. The other one's it's a trap, and then the other one is plankton. Though I don't know, I didn't think I'd get this far. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love that one too. And I'll tell you why I haven't saved to my phone after three hours this earlier. Wow, is he rebuilding the gun? Yeah, except there he's changing the plan to he's gonna be the one to use the weapon, not Batman. Oh. Because if Batman dies trying to use the gun then their efforts were for nothing. Batman's insurgency dies with him, basically. So if... Super pills! So if Lex Luthor is the one with it, like, the insurgents can continue. Because Batman's still alive. Yes. Alright, Bruce Willis. So it's like those old... You became a Those old-time wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So it's like those old time wars where the king dies, it's all over. Yes. And it's kind of true, like, if <laughs> Superman, if Batman dies, then, like, who's gonna oppose him? This whole war has been Batman versus Superman. So why oh, rockets. Why next take the uh, super pills if he's in a super suit? Just to be safe. Oh, on the off chance he has to fight without the suit. Yep. Yeah. Or it breaks or whatever. <laughs> oh no! My thrusters are offline! Wanna take a guess whose fault it is? Cyborgs? Mm. Is it Cyborgs? Who is it? Who can it be? Do you know? <laughs> Find out next time on Challenge of the Super Friends! Choo <laughs> choo! <laughs> you know, I forgot to like the song for Challenge of the Super Friends. Who was it? Was it like Superman, Batman, <laughs> Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and Aquaman? Something like that, right? Yeah, let's look that up before we can do the next episode, yeah? Well, there, there's where the missiles came from. Joker? One crazy mofo. Mister, I don't really care about what's going on in the world. I just want things to go my way. It's my way, or the grave. 
<laughs> That's basically how Joker thinks. Yeah, this is a fairly long cutscene. I know. Like, I expect it to be over. Like, I was gonna tell my story if we have what. Okay, there we go. All right. So when we come back, we'll continue Lex Luthor's story. Bruce Willis's story. Huh? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom, <laughs> Bruce Willis prepares for his next die-hard role. 